In the last video, I showed you how to make uh, a quite simple Lichtenstein pop art style bang uh, in the style of these. Um, but you'll notice that it is very simple. And if you look at Lichtenstein's actual artwork, he has lots of these dots like you would get from the print of um, an old fashioned comic book. So let's see if we can add some of these dots to our Lichtenstein uh, picture. So what I want to do is create sort of a cloud explosion behind, and I think I'll probably do that with my pencil tool. I could do it in a similar way to how I did these, but the opposite way round. But I think just for expedience, for, for speed, I'm just going to draw sort of uh, a cloud going around the outside of this. It's, it's a bit bigger than the page, but I'm not worried so much by that. And there we go. Uh, it's drawn that and I think what I'm just going to do is just tidy that up I'm selecting that anchor um, putting it on the same one let's just add a path so I can see it a little bit more clearly uh, there we go now these two I've got two points there if I just select those with the white arrow uh, I should be able to join those, it becomes uh, just one corner. And then if I wanted to, I could just improve the shape of that, that cloud slightly. Um, there's a few more there that I just want to um, tidy up. Uh, so I don't like, don't like that very much. It's just not. The angle doesn't seem quite right, so let's just move that handle. That's definitely wrong. There you go, that will do. I'm, I'm not going to waste time uh, doing all that now. Anyway, I've got my cloud. I want to fill my cloud with the dotted pattern. So let's get my black selection tool. So that's my black arrow. Get the, get the shape itself. Let's go to the fills. And you can see um, these are all solid colours. Um, I've got the red there. What else have we got? Um, Greys or blues. Uh, there are some horrible patterns uh, which I don't want to use. Um, what I actually want are a load of dots. So how do I get my dots? Well, in my swatch library, there are a whole host of different options. Now I looked here under the um, uh, art history and thought, oh, pop art, that would be great. Uh, what pop art actually does is just give us um, the primary colours that you would expect to see in uh, pieces of pop art. It doesn't give us the dots that you'd see in a piece of Lichtenstein style pop art. So that's no good. So let's have a look at what else we've got. I've got gradients, uh, nature, uh, but I've got patterns and it is a pattern we want. And if I go to basic pattern, there was something here that looked really good. It was basic graphics dots. So let's click on that. And there are a load of dots. But the only problem is that these are all uh, just black and white. Black dots on a white background. So I pick something like that. Let's just drag and drop it on there. And I get the dots. But you can see uh, they're black. So I actually want this to be blue dots. And is there a way of changing the colour to make it blue? No, it just makes the whole thing blue. So that's no good. So I need a way of creating a blue dotty pattern. So what I actually need to do is edit and create my own pattern. So for the moment, I'm just going to go Window, Layers. And I'm going to lock my layer with my drawing on. And I'm going to hide it so that I can't see any of that just because it's extra clutter that I don't need. I'm going to add a new layer, just for now. And onto that layer, I'm going to bring up my swatch over here. Let's get that pattern and drag and drop it onto the page. Now I'm just going to zoom in so you can see what's going on here. You can see there are the dots that make up the pattern. And this square is quite important because that's what helps define uh, the square repeating pattern. Now I want these to be blue, not black. So I need to edit this. So if I double click, it opens up this pattern, 
and I can select these dots individually and then change uh, their color to blue. And if I hold shift as I'm clicking, I should be able to select more than one at once. Like that. Change those to blue. There's my pattern done. Uh, let's just come out of that layer just by clicking on the arrow. Let's select all of those as we did before. Let's just do those. And if I go to edit, define pattern, I can go blue dots, click OK, and it's added it to my swatch. So on this layer, I can now delete layer two because I don't need it. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yes, I am. Let's bring back the eye. Let's open that up. Let's just zoom back out to 100%. And then what I should be able to do if I select the shape, click on the blue dots, I now get my blue dots. Now, I don't want the cloud in front of the bang. Let's go to my layers. I have it at the side, so window, layers, there it is, and there's the, the cloud. Move it behind the whole block. And there is my Liechtenstein style uh, explosion with a nice blue dotted pattern. The only thing I need to do is just remove that black line around the edge because I don't want that now because I can see it. Let's go to none. And there is my lovely Lichtenstein style bang. I might just move that up just slightly. Place it in the middle. And the whole thing can move down just a touch like that. So I can save my picture. And that is an Illustrator vector graphic. And if I wanted to use that on the web, I just need to go to File, Save for Web and Devices. Let's turn it into PNG8. I don't want any transparency because uh, I do want that white background. Let's click save. Let's call it bang. On it goes. Let's just do a final save. Let's quit Illustrator. So there's my Adobe Illustrator version and my PNG.